Hey, Jim here from K2 Concepts. Uh, what we're going to do today is show you guys uh, an advanced technique. Uh, if you guys are new to the trade, I don't suggest you try this. It takes a little bit of control. Uh, Got to be a little ambidextrous. These are uh, fishing lures uh, from my buddy over in uh, Florida, Ed Richard. He does an awesome job. I don't even fish, but um, this is an example of his work. He put our logo on the side. <laughs> it's just awesome. <laughs> I'll never throw this thing in the water. Anyhow, uh, um, Ed has been uh, kind enough to send us a fishing lure so we could demonstrate an advanced technique of uh, how to dip. What I'm going to do is put the pattern in the water and then you have a couple of different options. When you have a round object like this, you can try to get it in uh, this way or you can roll it this way. If you don't want a line then your only option is to go straight in. Now a lot of times when it goes straight in the pattern stretches and that is uh, sometimes uh, uh, it voids the pattern or it stretches the ink to its limits and you get a real distorted view of the pattern. So what I'm going to show you today uh, this is more of a one, of a one at a time kind of project uh, but uh, uh, because uh, um, the way that we dip it and the way that I'm going to show you how to do this, um, you got to have one hand free. So anyhow, I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to take the pattern. This is my buddy Rango. This is his second video. Um, of demonstrating this we're gonna go for it all right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my free hand as I'm feeding the, the object into water I'm gonna use my free hand to push the pattern into the object okay and that's how we're gonna do this so I'm gonna set my timer to 70 seconds that's my phone People call me all hours of the day. Okay. Set my buddy Rango over here so he can check it out. Um, go ahead and get it set up. Run about 60, 70 seconds for a timer. And again, this takes a little bit of control with one hand. You're going to be feeding this in. With the other hand, you're going to be feeding the pattern in. Okay. With larger objects, you're going to have to move towards the fixed portion of the dam. So you're going to have to do this to keep a straight line. Otherwise, the line's going to curve. Okay. So we're almost ready to go. So he's going to watch, huh? There you go. Okay. There you go. And that's how you do it. You can see it's a pretty decent pattern. Stayed together pretty well. Um, now we'll get it over here into the rinse tank. And we'll let it set it out for a little bit, then we'll hit it. Anyhow, that's how uh, you're going to dip round objects where you don't want to see them. Sometimes you have no choice. If it's a real long round object like a shot, 
I think I showed you guys how to do that before. You're just going to have to roll it. There's no way. You've got actually about a four inch draw. Most patterns will give you about four inches. Once you get beyond four inches of going into the pattern, it's going to be stretching beyond its limits. A uh, good rule of thumb is about 20% stretch. So what, uh, what this technique does is it allows you to kind of, if you're right on the edge, four, you know, five inches, you're stretching it, you'll feed the pattern in. Dip and feed, okay? It takes a little bit of work. Again, this is not for you guys beginning this, but uh, for you guys more advanced, that's something that you can work on. Anyhow, that's it for this video. Uh, you can leave your questions, comments below. Uh, you can email us at k2concepts.net at gmail.com. That's k2concepts at gmail.com. Or join us on the forum at www.liquidconceptsus.com. And uh, we're under k2concepts. There's a lot of information. We'll be posting a video up there on that forum. And uh, that's it for this one. You guys have a good day.